Hey guys, what's up? It's Quinkin, and as you guys can see, uh, this is my FUT team. Uh, well, this isn't really my first team. This is my second team, the fitness team. And as you guys can see, I have Victor Valdez in the GK position. Um, the reason I bought him is because he's the second best in La Liga, and I, did, I wanted to make a La Liga team because before, uh, my second team was a, um, a Serie A uh, fitness team but I wanted a La Liga team and now we have Pepe a very good de defender he has 74 pace and 84 defending and overall he was a very good um, the gameplay you guys are gonna see uh, is actually my first game of him and in the right back we have Arbeloa and helping Pepe in the CB position is Pique and we have Jordi Alba in the left back position, David Villa in the left mid position, Mesu Ozil in the camp position, we have Cesc Fabregas in the CM position and we have Kaká in the other camp position and right mid, right mid we have Angel Di Maria and as the lone striker we have Falcao. Now um, today I wanted to do another let's talk real football video and um, Today I'm going to be talking about Iker Casillas and how he is not uh, the first choice for Carlo Ancelotti. As you guys know, the first game Real Madrid had, they faced Real Betis and uh, Ancelotti said that in his plans for that game, uh, Diego Lopez, um, the goalie that Real Madrid, got, Real Madrid got last year while Iker Casillas was injured. He said that Diego Lopez was the best choice for that game because Diego Lopez uh, had more games in the pre-games they had in the preseason with um, Everton and all those teams. And he said that it was, a, it was better f to put Diego Lopez in for tactical reasons. Now, Iker Casillas uh, being the savior of Madrid for many years, um, brought up in 1999, uh, he came out to be a very good goalie. Um, he he had uh, the chance to play with the Galacticos, which was with Luis Figo, David Beckham, Ronaldo, Zidane. Uh, he had the opportunity to play with uh, Raul. All these good players, and um, he Real Madrid players really want him. And um, they do not agree with Carlo Ancelotti. Uh, in my opinion, Iker Casillas is a much better goalie than Diego Lopez. Even though Diego Lopez in last year's campaign in the Champions League, he actually did very well. Uh, I think he did some saves that I don't, that I don't think Iker could have saved. But um, Iker Casillas is a better goalie. He has confidence of Vicente del Bosque which is the manager of uh, of Spain and he always puts Iker and Iker always has an out uh, always has outstanding matches with um, with Spain so uh, I, I don't know why Carlo Ancelotti isn't putting Iker uh, Iker did play against Al Saad uh, for the Real Madrid um, the Bernabeu Cup or something like that where Raul played uh, halftime with him and um, Real Madrid did not concede any goals. They played very well. They played, they played and won a 5-0 with a goal for Raul. But I don't know why Real Madrid isn't putting Iker Casillas if he is the best goalie in the world. Just because Jose Mario didn't like him anymore because of issues he had, doesn't mean you're gonna bring that up to Iker. Iker is a better goalie. I don't know what Carlo Ancelotti is doing. If I were Ancelotti. I would put Iker Casillas in. He is a better goalie. Uh, he is more trustworthy, and he is a captain in uh, a captain and a leader in and out of the the football scenario. Now, if they don't put Iker Casillas in, I would suggest it, Iker to find a new club because he's already like 34, 33 years old. I don't know how, old, but he's around that area. And if they're not going to be putting him uh, at that age um, just because they think uh, Diego Lopez is better, I would go and find another club that would really want me because uh, I really do know that uh, Iker Casillas is a better goalie and Diego Lopez is taking up all the, all the glory here. And um, they scored a goal on him against Real Betis and they barely won 2-1. 
with a beautiful goal by Isco, which uh, in my opinion, Isco is having a good campaign. And this is the end of the video. Hope I hope you guys uh, had a good time listening. And remember to leave a like and a comment. I have been Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.